All right, friends, we're on the edge. What do we got here? Your engineers found out someone sabotaged one of the main pumps heating the bathhouse or the hot house. Some crops were lost, and it will take at least a day to resume food production. We believe this to be the doing, the doing of New London or their sympathizers. We are anxious that if they do this again, they'll cripple food production. We might starve to burn this. We should work together even closer than before. Don't you agree? Yeah. Set up the watch. It's not your problem, but since we are now working together, we thought you might want to have some say in some of our people want to have some say. Some of our people, men we trusted, were exposed as murderers. We don't want them among us, obviously. Provide them with stuff. It must do a thing. It's, I guess whatever. Another line of bullshit to take care of. This is going to be hard. But it is all coming down to this steel problem. Yes. Let's do this. That's on the way. We have three days left to deal with it all. I'm wishing I could do this. One for another steel. tools. I'm going to catch them up if I can. And they need three cores, so son of a bitch. Two cores, three cores. Seven cores. Inconvenient truth. Now right, we got here, sir. Our team in the hot springs report they're repairing the damage from the geyser eruption. Found out we are most likely responsible for the disaster. Apparently, when we fixed the pumps, we disturbed the flow of the water underground. Some locals are already considering the eruption's nature's punishment for bringing technology to the hot spring, which we do. Now that exhausted my favor, which is not too good, but it could be worse. I need to switch over to cores, right? I already did that, I think. Send that out. Two cores, two cores. Okay. Real 
not address that right now. You can calmest those tits. Keep that running, please, and thank you. I don't know why I thought I needed seven cores. Stupid. Got more than enough wood. It just comes down to the goddamn steel. After the coal mine was rebuilt, the amount of work needed to extract coal fell radically. Some children have nothing to do and are wandering aimlessly or playing the whole day. Working kids are envious of that and attempt to take away their food, claiming that they don't deserve it. If you don't know what to do about that, there's clearly you don't work, you don't eat sentiment around here. Yeah, we're gonna do nothing about it. I want them to be loyal. Grab that steel. Your favor's low. Grab that wood. All right, so everybody's low at the moment. After rebuilding our coal mine, we think about connecting the settlement with a safe route. Yeah, that is the idea, isn't it? Alright, name the game. Get this done. We can bring them back, because they're sitting on steel, I think. I think. Wait, how the house is cold? What the shit is this? Explain it. Although we're burning coal now. Safe route established in one direction. Let's grab that direction since we can travel them forward then back. There's some com commotion among the kids, and it looks like it was a while to sort out, but we found that. Three children are missing. Other kids say they went to play, but nobody has seen them for days. Finally, one of the children admitted that they sneaked into the mines. We have to find them quickly. Our people formed a security party, but they don't know the mines as well as the kids. Do the bigger boys offer to guide them? Trust in the kids. Grab that into overtime mode. Hopefully that'll... Yep. Bring that back up into a line. That's good. They're ready. Avalanche danger. We have encountered an unforeseen obstacle. Huge masses of snow have accumulated in the mountainside right over the planned safe route. We can trigger the avalanche. Cleaning up the snow will take a lot of time and resources. Trigger the land. Trigger the avalanche. Put them back to there. We're low. Low and low. Okay. The work day is over. You're free to your quarters. Sir, our teams report that they found the lost kids near a collapse shaft almost immediately. They were hungry, thirsty, and scared, but otherwise unharmed. One of the young guys was so confident about where to look in the labyrinth that my men grew suspicious. 
One of the younger kids said something about a test, but it was immediately silenced by the others. Interesting. Interesting. That oh, need that steel. Need that steel. Need that steel booty. Need that steel booty. All right, we built that. Send them back because we need to build the depot. That actually the fucking matter at all. Oh, you're getting frostbite. Who the fuck? Frostbite. Well, there's no reason for y'all to be in there anyway. Yep, they had a big old chunk of steel on them. Good. Let's get that safe route done. Calm steel out of them. Average, they're low. Check tonight at five. Worker play. Sir, as you might have noticed, coal shipments from the children's mines are uneven. This isn't due to any technical difficulties. Some kids just can't focus. Sometimes play and sometimes play all day and work just a couple hours. Should we try to make them keep to a work hours or let them plan their time? Let them plan their time. Need that 75 steel. Let's end them. New Londoners are coming, sir. A large group of people is headed our way from New London. We don't know their intention, but we must assume that is a vanguard of a punitive expedition. Well, we're immediately going to toss this in the ham mode. What's the list here? and twenty steel. Grab that first since that's the heaviest burden. Our settlements are now connected with this safe route. Thanks to it we'll be able to help each other quickly the need arises. Alright, that's great. Let's put that out of the way. Under steel shaft extensions now what do we got oh boy here we go we must help them these poor people they are starving interesting trouble in new london that's no punitive expedition these are ordinary people in the delegation delegates are here to ask for help we fled the hunger and chaos of New London. Everything is falling apart there. Healthcare, coal supply, even the generator. Administration just argues over what to do, and no decisions are made. Please help us. You're our only hope. Some of our people, recognizing their friends and relatives among the refugees, are embracing them and taking them into their home. We have no choice. We must welcome them. Luckily, we only have to welcome them with one house. Unfortunately, we can't slip it in. Uh, uh, can we do that? It does not connect. It's not contact. Alright, so what we're going to do then is we're just going to straight out build a house. Do 
Holy shit. That's a problem. Help us living. We heard some people from our city have reached you. What they tell you is mostly true. We lost some crops, had a food shortage, you saw dust, had labor shortages, then a generator malfunction, and things got out of control. Yeah, big fucking surprise there, huh? Time to decide. New London is collapsing and we don't have much time to reach a decision. Before we do, we should consult the other settlements and listen to our people. What we do now will change the future not only for us, but all of the frost land. See. New America greetings, what can we do for you? We don't know much to do London, but it seems to us that's us that unlike you, it's people fail to adapt to the changing world. If you let their city fall, they will strengthen your ranks and learn your ways. If you help them instead, your people might yet become assimilated by them. The nature is our ultimate judge, and it is useless to dispute her ruling. Whatever you decide, we won't deny you help if you ask for it. All those wealthy New Londoners are scum. No offense, pal. You're different, but they can go to hell with their generators and fancy houses. They grew too big and the world would cut them down. If you help them, they'll stab, only stab me in the back, mark my words. In the end, each of us should stand or fall on their own. You say, let New London fall, but we owe you and we'll help you however we can. We're saddened to hear about the plight in New London. It reminds us of the tragic fate of Winter Home. We should try to help them. Some of our children might be, have relatives there. Leave them to their fate, many will die, and this world saw too much death already. Alright, so we got a few for, a few against. Take what we can out of these guys. They're done. They need two cores, a bunch of steel. State of New London, how quickly the mood changes. We were ready to fight New London, now many want to help them despite the huge cost. After all, people will still have friends and relatives there. On the other hand, if we let New London fall, we could take full control of it, although many of its inhabitants would die. We also have to prepare for a massive wave. The fire has seriously damaged many buildings, and we are now sure that it was arson. We don't know who did it or why, but we'll find out and deal with them. This kind of stupid shit serves no one, and won't let it happen again. We have to ask you for resources to repair the damage. We could do much more with some proper planning and engineering, but that will take a lot of time and resources that we can't ask you for. will help you rebuild. Need a little bit of steel for them. A whole lot of steel over here and some cores. The shaft extensions, let's get till the night. We can't endure much longer. Hear us out. We beg you. I'll treat you badly, misled you, and we were wrong, although we still have 
We still believe we are one people. We respect your autonomy if you save our city. You can, you can do whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't really change anything. Okay. We will save you. Because I'm going to try to be better today than I was yesterday. Saving New London. New London's economy is in shambles, so we'll need a lot of coal to keep them warm. Due to the cold, a lot of their workers are sick, which means we'll... We'll have to replace their infirmaries. We'll heal the grid. We'll build the... To build them, we need to send steel and steam cores. Their food economy is stretched to the maximum. It's the beginning. The shipment of foods will greatly aid. Good decision. Preserve the bigger and more advanced society will affect us all. For good or ill, only time will tell. We believe that if we exert ourselves, we can take care of the food shipment for New London. The other tasks are in your hand. We rejoice at the news that you decided to help New London after so much death. Every saved life is all the more precious. We shall double our efforts and deliver the cult shipment for them. You won't need to trouble yourself with them. We already chose to spare the toughs. Too bad, but you're, it's your choice, as we said. Alas, we too will have to face its consequences. We'll send them workers they need to get on their good side and keep an eye on them. You know a thing or two about generators. Having built a few, so we'll take a look at theirs. Neat. Well worth it. Let it shop. Work shipments and route. We need what? Five cores, 250 steel. That's a heavy order right there. How long do I got? I got four days. At five, we'll check our resource bins. That's what I'm considering them. I don't know when exactly they roll over. Uh, average. So let's pump. Steal from them. They're low. They're at. Pump some wood from them. We got four days to get shit in order. Let's do this. The big shipment of coal you sent us is essential for our survival. The generator is acting up even on the lowest settings. Many buildings don't get enough heat. Now we can do something to keep people warm and healthy. Thank you. Pump that back in. Get that extra point. A lot of cores are needed around this bitch. Fifth one. Sending us food rations, you've accomplished more than just saving us from starvation. You're kindling hope among our people. They're still hungry, but we know it took to deliver this much, and we appreciate this a lot. As you fucking should. I'll address this right now. I need you guys back to work, unfortunately. The workers you sent. Oh, well, it's our great help. Nearly all of our facilities are understaffed. Many of our workers are sick and even more weakened by hunger. Your people gave us hope that we still have a chance. Just need that steel shipment. We're almost there. Alright, the steel shipment, let's do that. Bang. Do 
give up the trigger on that. Let's see, we got average, so. Need some steel. Their average. And gonna take some wood from them. Honestly, I should have been doing that a lot sooner. Shit. I could have had a whole bunch of shit done. Get up, people. Our work won't wait. I could make this run a lot cleaner if I were to do that. If I were to go back and... Yeah. If I were to go back, let me just say, this run would be super fucking clean. Work all the time, damn it. The end. The city is saved. We did it. New London is no longer in danger of collapse. It was a trying time for all, full of strife and discord, but that's behind us now. Despite all the misunderstandings and unnecessary grudges, we saw past their differences and lent a helping hand to those in need. The last city on earth remains the best hope of mankind. But how long will its people remember the lesson? That it has that it was discord, not the great storm, that turned out to be the ultimate threat. We have prevailed. New America, fuck yeah. It was not a clean run, by any means, but we did do it. On survival. We were just an outpost. Ruled by New London. They changed the rules, exploited us. So we rose and became New America. Stand against New London, we found allies. We lent them a hand and improved their lives. Then our former masters turned up to beg for rescue, and we saved the city, working together in harmony. We averted a disaster, thanks to our unity. We learn the lesson that the ultimate threat was not the storm, but Discord. How does a game chat function cause all these problems? United Territories of New London, the population 861, 1887, 1916. I don't think the game took that, you know, it plays over that long a time. I could be mistaken, though. Anyway, that was a run of the final, unfortunately, the final expansion to this wonderful fucking game that I love to no end. I hope they come out with a Frostpunk 2 or something, because the fuck they need to. I love it. Any hoodles. As always, stay safe out there. Take care. Have a good day. And I'll find something else to do shortly and post that up. Till then.